Hello. Um, we are from group six and we will present our slide for concept brief for wildlife monitoring monitoring at Kawang Forest Reserve, Papar Sabah. My name is Fedi Fitri and I will present for the introductions. Kawang Forest Reserve has been gazetted as class one protection forest reserve. It has 1,551 hectares of mixed lowland deep terrocarp forest. The altitude range from 81 to 658 meters above sea level with Castle Peak as highest peak, which is 658 meters. Um, Sabah Forest Department has been collaborating with researchers from UN UMS, University of Malaysia Sabah, to determine the species of wildlife that can be found in Kawang Forest Reserve. The data from the research will be used as attraction to the tourists and also used to understanding condition of wildlife community. The method that, that has been used for this research, research is camera trapping and the order of animal that we choose is sambar deer. The time frame that we use for this method is two months time frame. Objective of this research is to determine the sighting rate of sambar deer in Kawang Forest Reserve. Janisa and will be presenting the methodology. The study site that we have chosen are Kawang Forest Reserve. And the sampling method that we have chosen are the camera trapping. The camera trap with sensor system are set up at the place that is along the trails at each station that we have chosen. The bait that we are using are the salt lake bait that will set up where the camera trap located. The location of the camera trap are being recorded by the GPS coordination. The period of this study will take up to two months as the proper duration of the study, and it may take up to three or four months if the data that we have collected were not enough for comparability. In every two weeks, the camera trap and the bed will check if there are any changes. The camera trap is set in the trees with the height of about 30 to 40 cm from the ground and it should be parallel with the ground. For the data processing, the data that have been collected from the camera trap will be put in a table that consists of dead time, station, species and gender. Hi, my name is Mohamad Bin Pirseri Budiono. I will presenting on literature review. First, there are a lot of species of deer found in tropical rainforests in Southeast Asia. Most of the species are red deer, Cervus elephus, pelo deer, dama dama, rusa deer, Cervus timorinensis, and sambar deer, Cervus sinicala. As we can see, there are three different types of deer. Become this deer become a native species of, as most of them are being hunting for its meat, especially the sambar deer. We choose the sambar deer, Cervus sinicala, as our target species. This research was conducted by our team in Kawang Forest Reserve. Generally, the size of adult male is bigger compared to the adult female sambar deer. The common method used are the camera trapping. Camera traps will be set on different locations in the forest. Camera traps usually can detect the sambar deer at night. To attract the sambar deer, salt lake method was used. And it Hello, my name is Alicia Simpakis. Topper and I will be presenting further about the literature review. First observed characteristic for a sambar deer is the development of enter. Male sambar deer usually use it as a weapon and to attract female. The enter will complete its growth before the rooting season and it will usually take place before June. Whitehead 1972 said that rooting activity for sambar deer is active between July and November. The antler of sambal deer will develop into a tree branch structure and will require 36 days for hardening. Second observed characteristic for sambal deer are behavior during reproduction. For no sambal deer reproductive pattern start from mating, spawning, and rooting. They will show some courtship behavior and breeding behavior. Most hunted deer in the west part of sambal Saba is the sambar deer, according to Major and Shield, 2006. 
Sabah Wildlife Department said that in 2007, license issue for hunting of sambar deer were higher. Hunting of sambar deer may due to traditional inheritance, food resources or income resources. We must do our best to protect the native species. Thank you. Okay, I'm Ms. Leha Binti Rosli. I'm, I'm going to present the expected result. Through the research study about sambar deer, Sabah Forestry Department can use the information to understand their condition and to promote them as tourist attractions in future. Other than that, this research study can be used to understand species behavior and ecology, manage population and conserve species. The camera uses is digital and passive infrared. This is to ensure the camera can record time and date when the image is captured. It also can capture more image based on battery life. In Matsubayashi study 2007, the Sabadia was among the most active visitor to the natural leads. This showed that we have a higher chance to capture Sabadia image with the, with the salt lead. Salt lead are the essential mineral source for Sabadia since they have difficult in consuming of adequate minerals through their diet. Next, we also expected that the frequency of visitation by Sambadia will be higher in the wet season and dry season. We also expected that the frequency of visitations by Sambadia during nighttime is higher than daytime. This all is proved in Mazubayasi study 2007. And Sambadia is a natural animal which they are active during nighttime. Assalamualaikum. Nama saya, my name is Muhammad Lohman bin Nudin. I will talk to you about research budget for this research. Okay, the main component for this research to complete is camera trapping, GPS, battery, memory card and salt leak. The total equipment budget is around 3,465. This is because we need to buy uh, 12 camera trapping and 12 the uh, battery double a and 12 the memory card because the camera tapping is selling separately for battery and memory card for the food resource and tour guide total food resource is 437 ringgit and the tour guide is 2100 for for resource is uses as a uh, basic food to recover our energy that lost while doing the activity uh, and the tour guide is function for show the familiar place uh, around the Kawang forest because we got, we are not familiar with the family uh, we're not familiar with the Kawang forest accommodation and transportation total accommodation is around 4,500 4, because we don't uh, we don't sleep around the campsite for every month so we maybe we just rent around one month and the total for transport is 9,860 because we need a car for transportation uh, doing going to the campsite. Hello my name is Andrew Lawrence and I will present about the gunshot. Uh, in the first week of April, we do the thesis proposal presentation, which is uh, we choose the order of animal that we want. And the second, in the third week of April, is we prepare for the data collection, such as uh, we we buy equipment and food food resources. And then we uh, the the fourth week of April until the third week of June, uh, we do the data col collection, which, which is consists of two months. And then for the data analysis, we do it the, in the week of week two of June and week four of June. And then we write the report in the week of a uh, week one of July until week two of July. And then we submit the report in the week two and present the project uh, week three until the week four. So this is our reference. Thank That's you. all from us. Thank you.